Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I want to talk about the Art of Living, a live event that I attended yesterday um, that Matthew McConaughey put together. Um, I had seen it advertised here on YouTube roughly two and a half weeks ago. And it kept popping up more and more frequently, so I watched the little intro video about it. And I had thought, well, this is really cool. A free live virtual event with several speakers. And I thought, yeah, why not? And I've never read Matthew McConaughey's book, Green Lights, but I did actually order a copy of it for myself tonight. So... You know, as it got closer and closer, I um, I watched a few like clips on YouTube of interviews with him and everything, and I thought, well, I have a feeling this is going to be really, really good, and I wasn't disappointed. I really wasn't. There was such a positive energy, like such good vibrations and it was so cool to be able to interact through chat when Matthew was talking and asking people you know like different things and put it in the comment in the chat and the different speakers it was really really amazing now I assumed because of the fact that Tony Robbins was there. Um, he's a well-known um, motivational speaker, life coach, etc. I knew there was going to be some sort of sales pitch. Does that negate the free event? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. At least in my opinion, and plenty of other people, no. No, it does not. So, about halfway through um, the event, it was supposed to be four hours. It ran, I want to say, five hours and maybe 35, 36 minutes. Um, and there was a small presentation about this course. A road trip. And it really caught my eye. It seemed really, really interesting. And so, originally it started off comparably priced at like $900, over $1,000. Um, I believe it was available for like $300 and something, almost $400. Well, the second this presentation started, the negative people. Why am I on a fixed income? I can't buy food. What is wrong with you people? This and that, that and this. Why can't you give it to people? You're all rich. You don't need the money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up here for a moment. First of all, first of all, these people, this is their livelihood. This is what they do. And they're well known and well respected in, in their field. So, who the hell are you or I or anybody to say that they can't get some type of, you know, payment out of it, make money from it, that's their livelihood. If you really look up the salaries that some of these people command when they do, you know, like presentations um, at different colleges or, you know, like for different retreats and things they get paid quite well they do so of course for $400 with a lot of freebies thrown into it is actually like pennies on the dollar it could legitimately cost a lot more so these people were getting on my nerves and a lot of other people's nerves too and it's like you know, just like, what is wrong with you? You're not being conned into buying something. You're not being forced to buy something. They're 
presenting it to people. It's a matter of, if you're interested, you know, check it out. Um, you know, take advantage of it. But right off the bat, you know, some of these people and their attitude. And I just got so mad. I'm glad when some of them left because it was starting to bring the mood of the whole event down a bit. Um, yeah, it always takes people to ruin it for people, you know? But what got me more mad was I went on the Facebook group, The Art of Living, and, you know, you see one or two really positive posts by people like, hey, what was your favorite quote from last night? Or, you know, like, what... How would you summarize, you know, what you benefited, what you got from last night? And so, some of us were having, like, a good conversation, you know, talking about, you know, like, different, um, the different presenters there, you know, the different speakers and what we got from each one. And, of course, some negative nitwit has to put up, you know, like, I'm struggling, I'm this, I'm that. I just got so mad. So freaking mad. And this was early in the morning, too. This was, like, before 9 o'clock in the morning. And I said to this one lady, who the hell do you think you are? I said, could you even begin to imagine what it cost to put this free virtual event together? so that anybody who wanted to attend it around the world could. There was links on YouTube to watch it. There was links on Facebook to watch it. Um, now, there was a VIP offer. And if you took advantage of that, you got a Zoom link. And also, money that you paid for that went to Feed America. And there was, I believe, after the event, a half hour or 45 minute like one-on-one -on -one question and answer thing that those people got to, you know, um, enjoy. So, like, you know, it took a lot of work and prep to put that together. Can you not be appreciative of that? Like, you know, I don't know. I guess some people in the world just don't appreciate much, you know? I even said to this one person in the group, I go, I'm sure you've gone to see a, a singer or a band. I said, what do you see at concerts? T-shirts, autographed pictures, autographed CDs. Have you ever bought one in your life? Odds are good you probably did. Well, those singers have way more money than you. Why would you spend the money to buy a ticket to go see them? Don't you think they should have performed that show for free, according to your way of thinking? And I just said, people are so ignorant, unappreciative, and just ungrateful. Not everybody, but some. And they're miserable because, quote-unquote, oh, they're broke, or, you know, they're poor, whatever. Okay, well... I don't have a lot of money either, but I'm not miserable, and I'm not ungrateful, and I certainly don't think that everything should be handed to me because, you know, I have a limited amount of money. I don't know where some people get the attitude from, whatever. So what did I gain from yesterday? Well, a sense of community because it was amazing to find so many other people feeling the way that I feel sometimes. Like, I'm in a rut, I don't know how to get out, I know I could do better, I know I could be more. What is stopping me? Um, where did I lose sight of, you know, myself and what makes me happy do I have some type of fear 
Is it fear of failure or is it fear of success? And each person, including Matthew McConaughey, challenged you to look inside yourself with different questions that they asked of the audience. And it was really, really thought provoking and really made you bear your soul, shall we say. I truly enjoyed every every minute of it. Um, that's just a sample, you know, of like what I was feeling when I actually um, first started watching it. So, like, having that sense of community with that group and all these other people, you know, pretty much mirroring what you thought or what you felt. Um, wanting to be better but not knowing exactly how to go about it. Or feeling like you're in a rut. Like, well, my kids are all grown, now what do I do? Or, you know, my marriage ended, now I need to do me, but I don't know where to start. And I was never really in my life drawn to any type of like motivational speakers or anything per se. I read a few self-help books many years ago. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. There was a big one that was popular about codependency, for example. Um, so yeah, back in the day, I read a few like self-help books and things. Um, Remember the Secret, I have that DVD, I have the book, I have the journal. Um, but this was something different. I think because it was an actor, Matthew McConaughey, that went on a journey, a road trip, to find himself. When what he enjoyed doing wasn't bringing him joy anymore. It was like, well, what the hell am I doing here? What's changed? And going and I guess you could say finding himself. Now, like I said, I haven't read the book, um, but I actually ordered one tonight. But I will say what I gained from it is for myself. I have a ton of info and I have a desire. I just needed the motivation. And before I tell you what my personal plan is, years ago, I want to say maybe about 10 years ago, I at one point had two small businesses going. Um, I was making dog treats and I was selling them on Facebook. I also had a small jewelry business going on Etsy. And I mean, I didn't get rich from them. If I had perhaps kept up with them, um, I could have maybe turned them into a really profitable venture. Um, I was just kind of doing them as like a side hustle. Um, for extra money but looking back you know at least I had that experience and then with my candles Nightside Creations um, I enjoyed that so so much and it would not take very much for me to get a permit down here to get that up and going again but I need the capital to buy the supplies so, I have a notebook full of information. I watch a lot of videos about, like, different things you can do, work from home, that you can actually turn into business and everything. But what have I done with that information? Nothing. I write it down. I've watched some of these videos three, four times. But have I even given it a shot? No. Why? I don't freaking know. Procrastination. I, I just don't know why. It's not like I don't have time, because I do. So I think 
at the barest minimum yesterday, the universe said to me, you're in a different state and you have the perfect opportunity to try different things and see what will work to better your life and better yourself. And you're just not doing it, but you know you really should be. Because I don't know that something I try, maybe six months from now, could turn into something really, really profitable that could totally change my life around, a whole complete 360. So, I think yesterday was the universe giving me a kick in the ass that, listen, you need to pick something and you need to give it a shot. And that's what I am going to be doing. So, if you have heard or seen, you know, anything negative on social media about yesterday's event, I'm here to tell you that please don't listen to the naysayers it was a wonderful event if you are feeling you know lost or thinking that you could be a better person or your life could be better but you don't even know where to begin to change it to make it better I urge you it's only going to be up for three or four more days depending on where you are and the time zone right now to check it out and just listen to it with an open mind and an open heart and I really think that you might get something beneficial from it and um, I'm glad that I attended it and I'm also glad to know that there's thousands of other people out there that feel, you know, similarly like I do. And um, the negative people, well, you know what, even if they were handed that course for free, odds are good, a good percentage of them wouldn't put it to any use anyway. They'd find a reason to not do it or they would stop at some point. They're just that small percentage of negative people that, I don't know, just are negative and have no joy in them. And they're probably the ones who could really, really benefit from something like the road trip the most. The interesting thing about that course, though, is it can be broken down into small payments over the course of several months. But not one of these naysayers bothered to mention that. And, you know, I found that kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm on a fixed income, too, but if I should decide that I want to work on myself and that I really feel this is something that would be good for me, I'll find a way to pay it and I'll find the time to work on it. I just realized like how negativity can really, really ruin a huge event like that. Well then imagine in our lifetimes all the negative people that we surrounded ourselves with and listen to um you know it's just it's crazy so yeah it is available on youtube here and even if you're just curious check it out um no matthew mcconaughey is not starting a cult and in my opinion you know what him and these speakers prepared um, probably could be sold for two, three times more than what they're actually charging for it. This is their livelihood. And it's no different than going to a concert, paying for an autograph photo, or buying a signed CD. 
Um, you're not obligated to buy it. But, you know, if you think it might benefit you, what is the harm in investing money in yourself? Because seriously, that's the way I look at it, you know? Um, but yeah, check it out if you're remotely curious. Um, you never know. You may find something that resonates with you, your aha moment. And I hope that you do. I hope you find your aha moment because I had mine yesterday. So take care guys. I know it's been a bit since I uploaded a video, um, but I really just want to share